like on Brute. Any sport? Former Super Ego striker commands Ademola Lukman for choosing Nigeria over international football. Now the news in details. I am Timmy Dio Anthony. The Lagos State Governor, Babajide Somolu, has described his administration's activities as one that looked directly into the needs of the people of Lagos. He said his government has narrowed its agenda to critical areas that have helped to grow and develop the state. Governor Somolu stated this when he received the High British Commissioner Richard McGregor at the Lagos House at Marina. The governor noted that the administration's theme plus agenda in the, in the last five years has focused on the economy, stating that all the pillars attend to the yearnings and demands of the people of Lagos. Governor Somolu described the relationship between the I and British I Commission as positive and progressive. Adding that the long presence of new I Commissioner in Nigeria and Lagos State would definitely be of immense value. He assured the I Commissioner of the continued support of Lagos State Government in all areas of interest to the Embassy, while noting that existing benefits shall be deepened for mutual satisfaction. In his remarks, the I Commissioner Richard McGregor described Lagos as transformed place from the last time he was in the state 10 years ago pleasure to learn from the innovation coming out of Lagos. The Lagos State Government, in collaboration with the Lagos Urban Development Initiative, LUDI, and other stakeholders to observe the annual Car Free Day in Lagos. This initiative encourages road users and motorists to set aside their cars for a day and embrace active and inclusive means of transport, such as cycling and walking, known as non muttled transport. Commissioner for Transportation, Uluwashi Mwasiemi, explained that the primary aim of the initiative is to raise awareness about the benefits of non motorized transport. As CME said, the event involving Lagos State Ministry of Transportation in collaboration with other ministries, departments, agencies and Lagos Urban Development Initiative aimed at educating the public on the significance of environmental health and its direct impact on the well-being of the people. Hundreds of participants are expected to gather at Amanda Bello Way venue for a day filled with fun and exciting activities such as cycling, cycling training, cycling competitions, skating, stretches, music and dancing. Eco Club has been lauded by the founding elders forum of the club for its efforts in promoting social, cultural and intellectual growth. Noting that its dynamic programs have nurtured talent and celebrated the city's diversity for future generations. A former Honorable Justice Ibrahim Olorunibe stood at this during the Founder Elders Day celebration to mark the activities of the 50 years anniversary. Olorunibe, who chaired the occasion, said the club was created to assist the people of Iko towards promoting and preserving the culture alleviate poverty, contribute towards social development of Iko and promote elder living. He commended the club's sense of patriotism and citizenship towards immersive development and growth experienced in the once upon small land of Iko club in Suruleri that has now grown to be filled with gigantic buildings and edifices. Iko club is a few data. From my research, a good club within 50 years and substantially covered the ground. And the club is not resilient, they are still working towards improvement. In his closing remarks, President of Eco Club, Razak Amodu, said the club has made numerous contributions to the culture and history of Lagos State through its various empowerment programs. He also commended past members and present members who have contributed immensely to the growth and development of the club. The vision of the founding fathers have uh, really on brotherhood, and that will be able to foster. And by the grace of God, we will continue to keep it alive. That was the president, Eco Club Association, Razak Amodu. 
And now to the rest of the stories. The federal government and the original builders of Ajakuta steel plant brush uh, signed a memorandum of understanding for the rehabilitation, completion, and operation of Ajakuta steel plant and the National Iron Ore Mining Company in Kogi State. The plant, which was in full operation during a visit, has an electric arc for a capacity of 1.2 million metric tons of steel products per annum with a staff strength of 3,900 workers. In his remarks, Permanent Secretary Ministry of Steel Development, Chris Osa Isopoma, affirmed the commitment of Nigerian government to revamp the Ajafuta Steel Projects and National Iron Ore Mining Company in Itapwe. Speaker of Lagos State House of Assembly, Mudashiro Basa, has congratulated Senator Oluremi Tinubu on a 64th birthday, describing her as a compassionate Nigerian dedicated to impact the citizens of the country. Abasa noted the First Lady's courage, commitment to a better society, support for the President, Bola Tinubu, and her belief in the society. The speaker further described her as a shining example of a Nigerian woman who commits a life and service to lifting the downtrodden. The speaker added that right from the time she played role as First Lady of Lagos, Senator Lure Mitinubo has remained a crusader for more vibrant democracy in the country. And now to foreign news. A top Hezbollah military commander was killed in an Israeli airstrike on the Lebanese capital, Prut, in a major escalation that has added to fear of an all-out war. In a statement, Israel Defense Forces spokesperson Daniel Hag Hagri said Aquil, a senior commander in Hezbollah elite Rowan forces, was killed alongside senior operatives in the group's operation staff and other Rwandan commanders. Earlier, Lebanese officials said at least 14 people were killed and dozens, dozens injured in the strike that hits the densely populated Daila area, a stronghold of Iran-backed group in the city's southern suburbs. In words, there were chaotic scenes as emergency team rushed to the site of the attack, rescuing the wounded and searching for people believed to be trapped under the rubble. Dozens were killed and thousands wounded in those attacks, widely believed to have been orchestrated by Israel. And now to sport. Former Nigerian skipper Mikel Obi has commended Ademola Lukman for choosing Nigeria over England for his senior international football. While praising the Atlanta forward for making a decision early in his career, the Chelsea legend once again took a swipe at some players born outside Nigeria for delaying the decision until they have been completely overlooked by their countries of birth in the twilight of their career. Lukman represented England at the under-17, under-20 and under-21 levels before switching allegiance to Nigeria in 2022. He has scored eight goals and 25 outings for the Super Eagles since then. Lukman has been Nigeria's best player in the last two years, making a huge impression at the 2023 African Cup of Nations in Cote d'Ivoire, where his goal helps the team to finals against the to the final against the host country. But just before we go, stop for pedestrians at Zebra Crossing. You can follow us on like all of our social media platform. Access Traffic Radio 961. Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 961 FM. Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. You can subscribe and watch our news and program live on YouTube at Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website at www.trafficradio961.ng. Now, did you know that the Somulu administration partnered two private firms to commence training for 1,480 creative practitioners? You can get more details on Lagos State Government's website. To end the news, here are the highlights of the major stories. Lagos State Governor Babajide Somulu has described his administration's activities as one that looked directly into the needs of the people of Lagos. The federal government and the original builders of Ajakuta Steel, Russian firm, has signed a memorandum of understanding for the rehabilitation, completion, and operation of Ajakuta Steel plant and National Iron Ore Mining Company in Kogi State. 
We also told you that a top Zibola military commander has, was killed in an Israeli airstrike on the Lebanese capital in Brut in a major escalation that has added to fears of an all-out war. And in sports, Nigeria's keeper, Mikel Obi, has commended Ademola Lukman for choosing Nigeria over England for his senior international football. For contact with the newsroom, please send a message to info at traffic radio 961.ng. The ends news broadcast compiled by Adesua Ejoyaka. I am Timmy Dio. Anthony, thanks for listening.